This is an Elementor Pro tutorial where we'll create this beautiful hero section with a CSS swap image on over. When the user overs over the container, there is a smooth background image transition. The image is swept away by another background image until it reaches the end of, of the sliders. Underneath, I've created this good-looking vertical menu offering filters based on custom taxonomies, categories, with a tab widget with nested elements, creating an organized way to showcase my products. Elementor features you will need to enable from your WordPress dashboard Elementor settings. At the time of this video recording, you will need to enable the Flexbox container at the bottom, the grid container, the nested elements, and the taxonomy filter. And forget to save the changes. A well-crafted hero section greatly influences a website's success, boosting engagement, conversions, user experience, and SEO. To recreate this, simply create a new page and edit with Elementor, insert a new container with these following settings. Content width is set to full width, the width is set to 100%, the minimum height is set to 100bh. Ensuring that the hero section maintains a minimum height, I like to rename the container by pressing the enter key and I set a class to this main container called, so go to the advanced tab and here it is, main content container slides. Next up, go to your WordPress dashboard media panel library and make sure you have already uploaded four images that you will use for the image swap. So go back to the page, edit with Elementor, and simply insert the following custom CSS code into the container and the CSS code will be available for you. Just check the, the video comments down below. So enter here the code. And essentially the CSS code is saying to replace the background color on over in each container as well as to swap away the background image in the main container slide whenever hovering over the slides containers. Update this and the final step will be to replace the URLs of the images for the uploaded images you want to use. So I have already an extra tab already open displaying the media files I want to use. Let's say I want to use this one. Simply press Ctrl C or Command C if you are on a Mac. Right click copy and then replace it here by pressing Ctrl V or command V and now repeat the same processes for the four containers. And once you are done, come over to the start tab and assign a background a normal color with a transparent color tone. In the image controls, make sure you define it to be full. Position is center center. Repeat is no repeat. And display size is set to cover. And the next step is to drop in another container. So open Elementor panel, drop in a container. The container width is set to full width. The width is 25%. And afterward, go to the advanced tab and assign a class called slide one. And next, you should design each container slide with your own styles. I created mine like so. So the minimum height is set to 100% and I swap away this color to match my design by going to the main container advanced tab and change it here my Xcode and now I change to my custom blue color as you are viewing for the nested container I set a padding of 32 pixels 
and under the layout I set the justify content to end and I will include three widgets a heading, a text editor and a button a 50 pixels border radio and this is how it looks and once you are satisfied with the first container slide design easily duplicate it three times and remember the main container should be set the direction to horizontal so duplicate three times two three and of course change the CSS class on each container so that you have four sequential number classes as slide 1, slide 2, slide 3 and slide 4 and this is pretty cool now every time your user overs over the hero section background image is swapped away based on your images until it reaches the final slider I have already prepared a bunch of blog posts here each blog post has a feature image a content text a title a post excerpt and categories assigned to them so they can be easily be found and filtered through when using later the elementor tabs widget with nested elements and my nested element will be a loop grid to showcase my products i also have these two acf fields so i have three categories and you can check them by opening the categories tab and as you are viewing i have products services templates as of the acf field groups i have already covered this in multiple videos how to add acf fields to your content so if you need assistance please make sure you search this for on my youtube channel basically i created two custom fields a number to add a numeric value and a checkbox in order to add detailed information whether the product the product is has been updated or not and they are both assigned to my post so to start off i will simply drag and drop an element or a loop grid so run a search a quick search here for loop grid this one in order to function the loop grid widget needs a custom template you can create it from here or simply enter your loop item template characters so that Elementor understands this is the loop item template you want to be replicated in order to display a list of various items in a beautiful grid design. So I have already created one, so I enter here some characters. This one, to let it, as you can see, I have this beautiful grid design with already my two ACF fields and now we can customize it further. We can determine the number of columns on the page and this will affect the number of posts your users will see in each row. What I like to do is to use this control in conjunction with the limiting the number of items per page to adjust the layout. Of course, this is your own preference. For example, if you go with six posts in a three column layout, each page displays two rows of three items. Other thing you can do is to play around with the mansory option and experiment it by turning on or off and the mansory option automatically will arrange items to make use of the available screen space build a query with the loop grid you first should determine the source to be posts as i've shown at the beginning i have my posts assigned to three different categories so in the include panel you click inside the box there are two choices, term 
and author. Selecting author will open up a text box where you can type in the name of the author you want to include. In contrast, selecting term option will open a text box allowing me to type in the category or tag I want to include. And to demonstrate to you, let's try type in the templates category assigned to my posts to check how this works. So I enter here templates. There you go. As you are viewing, the loop grid is only displaying now the templates category. Next up, I drag and drop to Elementor Canvas the tabs widget with nested elements. And this widget is powerful as it allows us to have extra content within each tab and to present the content in a very engaging and organized way. I want to arrange the layout so that I have a vertical menu layout. So to achieve this, simply navigate to direction and choose this last option. Additionally, I want to align it to the top. So under the justify option, I choose start like this. With the first tab item selected, I now nest the loop grid. And of course, you will repeat the process. So you enter here the Elementor loop item. In the include panel, you will determine term. And in this box, I enter one of my category templates. And now for the second tab, you simply drag the loop item and specify the loop item template. The query, you set the source to posts. Include by term. This time here, I enter products and finally for the tab number three I nest another loop grid elementor loop item and define the source to be posts term now for the tab number three the query is not products but services this one if you want to learn in depth about elementor loop grid simply click on the video appearing on the screen right now Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to support my channel. My name is Natalie. See you next time.